So we were out on this lake a couple months ago, paddling around doing some adventures and I was flying the drone around. Well, the drone went for a swim and then sunk to the bottom. And since then, I kind of resigned myself to, oh, that's too bad. I guess it's gonna live there forever. Until this week when I thought, there has to be a way to get it off the bottom of the lake. Okay, here we go. Let's see how choppy it gets. So we got some tools, got this nifty fish finder. We rigged up a couple magnet lures and well now all we need is a little bit of luck. We're getting there. Okay, this is the spot. How about someone does the screen and someone does the fishing? I'll hold the screen. I will be the one that keeps us kind of on the spot or changes spots, okay? I finally got it to hang the right way. So this took forever. We um, spent an hour trying to float over top of it and then eventually we got smart and we made an anchor and we dropped it kind of nearby where we thought it was and we have finally found it on the fish finder thing. So we're getting out our fishing magnets and hooks and stuff like Here's that. Magnet. All right, magnet. So it appears that magnet lures and giant hooks are completely useless in dark water. There's really only one realistic way to do this. Two. He's going in. Please come back out. Please come back out. Oh, no way! Let's see. Is he, is he resting? <laughs> it looks terrible. Can I see? Oh. Oh man, I'm absolutely shaking because that was so crazy. The drone is of course in terrible condition, but I'm gonna to try to repair it anyway. The memory card was salvageable though, as seen in some of the clips at the beginning and here. Unfortunately, it wasn't recording during its final dive, so these were some of its last moments.